All right, so we've got a new toy here. This here is a Lyman .50 caliber Tradesman black powder percussion ca cap rifle. It's a mouthful. And um, it's basically a reproduction. Uh, I don't know how old it is yet. I'm trying to find out more information about it. I just bought it. I've been wanting a uh, black powder rifle for quite a long time. And last time when I was in and I bought the mare's leg, it was a real tough gamble between whether I buy this one or the mare's leg. And I knew that if I left the mare's leg there, it'd probably go, like, real fast, because they're a real sought-out uh, item. And black powder rifles, there's a very small group that like them, but generally speaking, not as sought after. But still, there is a lot of people quite interested in them, so, so don't get me wrong with, with what I'm trying to say. Uh, I'm just saying that, that I think that the mare's leg would have gone faster, and did. I got back there, and all the mare's legs are gone, but they still have my black powder rifle. So, I was right. So anyways, I got it, and there's lots of videos on how to shoot it and all that. This isn't one of these videos. It's just basically just to show how to take the gun down and reassemble it. Because I could not find one single video on how to do that, and it was pissed me off because I wanted to figure it out. I finally figured it out just by sort of screwing around, but... I don't recommend it for most if you don't know what you're doing, so I'm going to do this video now to show you exactly how to do it. It's actually really simple. You only need really two tools. That's, I recommend having a hammer and a punch. That's really all you're going to need for one thing. So, first thing you do is it's on the, the, the uh, serpentine is all the way closed, so what you're going to do is we're going to pull it open, that's half cock, you're going to pull it all the way open. It makes your job a lot easier. So you're just going to keep it open. Of course this thing's not loaded, there's no percussion cap on it, so we're fine. Um, anyways, uh, what we're going to do, sorry I'm just going to crawl over here. There's a tab here on the center fore end of the stock. And it's not for a sling or anything like that, it's for the takedown. So just for convenience sake, you want to pull this out first, which is the um, the ramrod. Because uh, uh, it won't come out unless you take this out. So you pull out your ramrod, and that can just set aside. You don't need that right now. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to push this tab in. And what I found best is you just take your punch, hold your hammer here, you just put the gun just on a foot, on your foot, whatever, and you're just going to lightly set that just on there. You can use a piece of cloth if you're worried about tool marks. Um, this thing is pretty hard, so I don't need to worry. And just ever so lightly tap it. And then you flip it around, and now you have this. If you can pull it out, go ahead, but I can't, so I just take my claw hammer. Now, I'm not going against the wood at all. There's no lever going on. You don't want to pry it. You just pull. And if you have to, just set your foot and just pull it out, just like so. I, I didn't um, do anything like this is in the gun. I didn't do that, because then you're going to scratch up your wood and all that shit. You can see someone else who didn't know what they were doing, uh, probably the guy who assembled the gun, uh, and uh, he kind of put a little scratch on it. Um, I have a feeling this might be a second-hand gun. They didn't tell me when I bought it. It looks like it's in really good condition. It might be just a floor model. I don't know, but I had to have it when I bought it, when, when I saw it, and I paid uh, uh, $550 for it. So, now this is where you need to do it right. If you fuck up, you're going to break your gun. Uh, you'll, you'll fuck up the stock. You'll just correct my... I don't care about uh, swearing and all that. If it offends you, go somewhere else. Because um, it's just a word. <laughs> I just want to get that out there. I, I swear a lot. So get over it if you don't like it. If you do, cool. So anyways, um, there's a hook in the back of this stock here. This metal clip. And it hooks in there. That's what you want to get out. So if you do this wrong, you're going to break the gun. And you just grab the muzzle. And you just lift. And you're just going to rock that out. I'm just going to get my hammer out of the way. And that's it. So now your muzzle is out. 
Now you can go ahead and clean your gun. Um, go ahead and clean in here. Make sure that's, you know, dry, whatnot. You want to dry all the underside in here. Uh, make sure this is free of dirt and rust because it just makes your gun last longer and uh, keeps in better condition. You want to keep this clean too because this is your locking mechanism that that goes into and you don't want that to seize in there or anything like that. It just makes it harder to take it out. Um, this just basically inspect, make sure it's, you know, fine. You'll want to just clean it. Like this gun really doesn't look like it's ever been fired to me. It looks like someone had it on, on for show and that, that's it. Sort of took it apart a couple times maybe, maybe just once. And here there's a set screw right there. And you take that set screw out and um, this I believe threads out as well. And you can clean your nipple and you can clean out inside your um, your passage for, for the chamber basically. And then in here is basically where you clean out with a wet patch, run your wet patch. There's a head that I have, I don't have it right now. It's over in the other room. It goes on there, you stick your wet patch, push it through, and then you put your dry patch on and you run it through. And then you can load it up with your powders and go ahead and shoot. And then you'll, when you clean it, you don't have to take it down every time. This is when you're doing your master clean. When you, you take it home, you put it up on the shelf for storage. And you, you might want to take it down and, and clean every part. You might want to get into this area to clean out the barrel. Maybe you were shooting and it started raining and you know water got in there. And you just want to make sure it's not rusting and whatnot. That's why you probably want to take it down. If you want to transport backpack with it and you want it more compact, another reason why you might want to take it down. So, there you go. If you're assembling it now, you buy it, you just got it out of the box. You didn't get your owner's manual with it whatever reason and you want to put it back together it's really simple you keep this thing all the way cocked back make sure it's cocked back if you bought it and your thing is sitting forward just take it pull it all the way back it'll go click click then you take your muzzle really simple and you just rock that in there and you want to make sure that your hook gets in there right if you do it wrong you're going to break the gun so what I did, there we go, so it sits like that, you you want it to fit in there nice, and then it should just drop into place. Um, if you're having trouble, don't force it, it should just plop in, if if you're feeling like you have to force it, you, you don't have it in there right, and you have to just try and work it in there so it just drops into place. And now... I don't think it matters which way it goes in, but I'm going to put it in the same way it was. My scuffy side is my hammer side. That's just how I'm going to basically state it. And we just pinch the rifle here so it closes. And you push that in as much as you can. And just a light little tap puts back into place. You can always put a rag over there if you're paranoid about tool marks and things like that. I barely even had to touch it, so I, I knew it wasn't going to scratch. Uh, this is probably softer than this brass. Um, I could be wrong, but it, it feels like that. I mean, this, this hammer head seems to be softer steel. So, and besides, it's my own gun, so I took the risk. And now, you want to hold this, pull it all the way back, pull the trigger, and just let her sit back there. If you want, you can um, keep it half cock. I think it's best to keep it closed. It just keeps the air, dust out, no no debris getting inside your, your uh, nipple in there. Um, you can always put a barrel condom on the uh, the end of your muzzle if you want to keep shit out. Just stick a, um, an, an item, like a sock over there, whatever. Just keeps the dust out. And last but not least, you put your bore, uh, sorry, your ramrod back in there and voila that's it you got your gun back together so that's just the uh, disassembly and reassembly of the Lyman trade rifle I am pretty sure that the all other models work the same way from this company the um, where they got they've got um, the, the yeah the Great Plains rifle they've got which is a little bit longer than this one this one's 
kind of like a carbine conversion uh, version of the um, the uh, the Great Plains rifle. They came with a second sight, so I have a different real rear sight I can put on there. I'm just going to keep that one on there. I like that one. Uh, the rear sight that I have, the new one, it's kind of a little. It, it's kind of like bulls bulls horns, and they're they're closed at the top, and I prefer an open sight um, for for these this kind of uh, setup. I'm, Bought this gun mostly for uh, deer hunting and possibly uh, just a little bit of target practice here and there, but mostly deer hunting. So I got the trade rifle. That's this one, and you've got also the deer stalker rifle. Um, they have two different deer stalker rifles. They've got also a stainless steel version, which, in my opinion, looks nice. But I just really like this one, and, and of course. This is the one that they had at the gun store that I was at. They had two others. It was a uh, one was a Seiko, and I'm sure it was a nice gun. I just didn't like it. It had a polyethylene stock and fiber optic sights and whatnot. And it was very modern, and it felt beautiful holding it. It just felt too light for a 50 caliber. That's all. I was I didn't want the recoil with a light gun. I like that slightly. This is an eight pound gun. And I like it because um, with that extra little weight of the gun, I find recoil's not so bad with a, uh, a heavier gun. That, that's how what I find. Um, other people might disagree, but that's my own opinion. I've, I, I prefer a, a slightly heavier gun. And um, the the, uh, the sorry the Fieldsman is a uh, did I call it Fieldsman? I think it's Fieldsman. Uh, Great Plains, sorry, the Great Plains rifle is um, nine pounds, so it's one pound heavier than this one. So um, I really like the feel of this. I mean, I don't find this gun heavy. If someone told me that this gun was heavy, I'd say you need to work out because I'm pretty skinny and I got no problem lifting it. But anyways, this is my gun, so that's all. Who's probably going to be shooting it really? So that's all it that really matters. But anyways, um. I'm just going to leave you there. Uh, if you guys want to know anything more, you should go to someone else because I'm just learning. I just bought this gun today and I saw one video. Uh, I couldn't find any videos on the takedown and I decided I better put one up so someone else isn't stuck there and frustrated. Um, I'm just happy I was able to figure it out without breaking my gun. So there you go. Um, yeah. Uh, any comments about this gun, any uh, suggestions, please let me know. I'd be very happy to hear. I'd like to also know if I can shoot birdshot out of this. Um, it's got a fully rifled barrel. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Um, it says I can in the, the manual, but it doesn't really say which model I can do it with, so I don't know if they're talking about this gun or if they're talking about one of their shotgun versions. Um, whether it has to be smooth bore or, or not, I, I'm actually not sure about that. So um, if you know that one, do, do, do let me know. And um, otherwise, if you have any other suggestions or comments, or um, yeah, I, I would love to hear. If you have a black powder rifle, uh, sure, feel free to talk about it. Um, let's start some discussions here.